I've made a lot of videos about Burp Suite at this point, and I've covered a lot of the different features that it has to offer, but there's one feature that I haven't really talked about that much, and that is the Extensions tab. If you go to the Extensions tab and click on B App Store, you can find all kinds of extensions that already exist that you can just install and load into your Burp instance and start using right away. A lot of these are really useful, like there are these beautifier extensions that just make different kinds of requests and response easier to read, and there are some that just make some of the Burp Suite features better than they are already. For example, ActiveScan++ just adds additional checks and capabilities to the already existing Burp Scanner tool. It is worth noting that some of these extensions will require Burp Suite Pro in order to use them. For example, this ActiveScan++ extension that I just mentioned, the scanner functionality isn't offered in the Community Edition, so if you don't have the scanner, obviously you can't add functionality to it, so you have to have the Burp Suite Pro Edition in order to use that extension, and any of those extensions that do require Burp Suite Pro should say in the details column right here if it does require that. So that's just something to keep in mind. So we have all these extensions in the B App Store, which are all free to install, which is great. But what I really wanted to talk about in this video is how you can actually build your own extension and then you can install that in Burp and use it as part of your own work through in your process with your pen test or your app assessments or whatever you're doing with it. And the process that I'm gonna follow for this is actually from a book called Black Hat Python. This is a great book that I really recommend for anyone who is either a programmer that's trying to get into cybersecurity or someone who is in cybersecurity but doesn't really have great programming skills. I'm pretty sure there's a second edition of this book that's out now that I haven't read, but this version that I'm looking at at least has a whole chapter on extending Burp Suite with Python and creating your own extensions. So that's the process that I'm gonna follow for this. So you can use three different languages when you're building your extensions. You can either use Java, Python, or Ruby. I'm gonna use Python just because I feel more comfortable with that language than either Java or Ruby, and that's also the language that they used in this book. But if you prefer either Java or Ruby, feel free to use either of those. So the first thing we need to do if we're gonna use Python is we need to download Jython, which is a Python interpreter implemented in Java. To get Jython, we're going to go to jython.org slash download, and we're going to click Jython Standalone. So once you have that jar file downloaded, you should go to Extensions, Options, and then under Python Environment, select File for the location of the Jython Standalone jar file, and select that file that you just downloaded. The author of this book actually uploaded all of the code from all their examples and put them online. So for the sake of time, I'm just going to download one of their examples just to show how you can add your own extension to Burp. But if anyone does want to learn how to write their own extensions, I really recommend this book. They go through all the steps and show how to use the documentation for the API and do everything you need to do. But I will put a link in the description of the video to all the code that's uploaded online if anyone wants to just check that out. So once you have your extension written, then you need to add it to Burp. To do this, we're going to go to Extensions, Installed, and then we're going to click Add. In the first option right here, it says Extension Type. Depending on what language that you used, you choose the appropriate one here. For this example, I used Python, so I'm going to select Python. Then it asks for the extension file, and this is going to be where you give it that file that you just wrote. And in Python, it would obviously be a .py file. The extension that I'm using from the example from the book is a word list extension where it is basically just going to scrape a website that we're looking at and create a custom word list specifically tailored to that website. Once we have our file selected, we hit next and we had no errors. So it says the extension loaded successfully. Any output or error messages generated are shown below and we have none. So we close that and now we have it installed. So now that we have our new extension installed, we need to test it out. So to test it, I'm going to use this website, testphp.vulnweb.com. This is just an example PHP website that is intentionally vulnerable, designed for people like us to play with and test different tools and hacking techniques. If I was on Burp Suite Pro right now, I would probably spider this host and maybe run an active scanner on it just to get as much coverage on the site as I could. But since this is the community edition and a lot of those automated features aren't available, I'm just going to kind of click around the website and get as much info from the site in Burp as I can. So now that we've explored the website a good bit and have a lot of the requests in Burp, we're going to select all of those requests 
we're going to right click, go to extensions, and then at BHP word list, which is the name of that extension that we just added, and then we're going to click create word list. Now, if we go back to the extensions tab and select our extension that we added, we can go to the output tab right here. And now we see this big word list that was created specifically from the contents of that website that we explored. Now we can either save this list to a file, which we can use in future password attacks using whatever tools we wanna use, or we can just click down here in the panel and control A to select all and control C to copy. Then we can go to the intruder tab and once we have that request that we wanna do the password attack against, we can paste that word list into our payload options so we have it there all inside Burp itself. So I know that was a very quick and dirty crash course of how to use the extensions tab and how to add your own extensions, but I didn't feel like it would be very interesting just to watch me very slowly write Python code for my extension. So I hope if anyone is out there that is just learning how to use Burp Suite and maybe hasn't really looked at the extensions before, this kind of gave you a taste of what that could be used for and how to create your own extensions. And again, I really recommend this book if anyone is either a programmer trying to get into the hacking space or is a hacker that isn't a very good programmer and wants to get better at their coding skills. 